Try and get your head around this deluge, the remnants of the interior forest that collapsed into the Chilcotin River in last week's landslide, now sneaking its way down to the ocean. 60,000 cubic meters so far, according to the provincial government. From the banks of the Fraser, the size of the debris hints at the possible peril to boaters and infrastructure. So this has been going on for many hours now. Here in North Delta, you can see a vast amount of debris and logs flowing down the Fraser River and into the Strait of Georgia. We talked to some of the tugboat operators on the river. This isn't a problem for them. But for recreational boaters, different story. If you're planning on taking your boat out in the Strait of Georgia in the next few days, you're going to have to be careful. You could easily damage your hull or your prop. Right now, it really is dangerous. Bruce Hain is with Boating BC and says recreational boaters shouldn't even think about going out onto the Fraser until the debris clears. These are deadheads that are coming down. These are large trees with uh, root balls. A lot of the time they're under the water. You don't really see them and you only see a little bit uh, on top. I know we always see at certain times of the year debris going into the Fraser River and boater, boating community is used to that. This is of a different order of magnitude. The province says a debris trap upstream has succeeded in capturing about half of the material so far. They say boaters likely need to be mindful of the situation for at least a few more days. In Delta, Paul Johnson, Global News.